If you were 21, wanted to go traveling but had no money and no job, would you just accept it or would you get out of your comfort zone and try to make it work? Well, me and my friend decided to get on the cheapest flights from London with no money, no plans and no places to stay and try to get around relying on the kindness of strangers. First, we went to Vienna where we had the best time and managed to secure a place to spend the night. Now, we're in Milan, but we still have to get a place to sleep. So if you want to see all the madness that went down, buckle up your seatbelt because the ride is about to begin. We are finally in Italy at the moment, but we're a bit worried. It's 5.30 p.m. I think, or 6 p.m. And we still have a place to sleep. I don't want to have to sleep in a McDonald's or in the station at the end of the night, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully someone will take us in. Hi Connor, nice, nice to meet you. I'm recording, is that okay? Hey there, hello from Italy. Yeah. This is Lorenzo, the friend that we spoke to since London. He will help us to try to find a place for the night, message people on Airbnb and keep us a bit of company. Things started to look well until rain once again gave us a reality check. So we have to run for cover. No, everybody will come inside. Oh shit, fuck. Yeah, I, unless I do this, then the camera's gonna get just ruined, absolutely ruined. So we've realized that um, I've been writing to the people on Airbnb in English and they might not even know English, which is why they're not even accepted. So here our friend is writing in Italian what we're supposed to tell them. So hopefully with the Italian we can get a better chance of getting a place for tonight. Also, Maurizio is typing to someone to see if we can host. So the team is working, everybody's working. Uh, Maurizio, correct me if I'm wrong. This bull that you see right there, very famous tourist thing that apparently, if you're here in Milan, you need to go and step on the bull's balls. Yeah. yeah. This is the most stupid thing you can do if you are tourist. That's it. So hopefully with that, we'll find a place to stay tonight. And if we do, I'm going to thank that stupid bull. We're going to leak it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm actually, can I do it again? <laughs> yeah. Do it a couple of times. The corrosion. There are no balls. No the balls. balls <laughs> yeah, the balls do not even exist in that bowl anymore. That's gone. Definitely gone. So it's now probably around 9 p.m. We walk in around a place in Milan called V Modrone. I still have a bit of hope left, but I don't have much battery, so I don't know how much that hope will last. So after hours and hours of no luck and almost no battery in our phones, we decided to speak to a few people and find out where we could spend the night, where everyone recommended Il Parco. What the f***? What does that even mean? We still haven't found a place to, to crush tonight, so we're gonna have to sleep in the park. It literally is 4am in the morning, 4am. So yeah, we're gonna stay in this park right now. Hopefully nobody will rob us. It will be a safe place, actually. Yeah, it seems like a safe place, so <laughs> where we're staying is literally a park in the morning. Yeah, wish us luck. Yeah, so it's now currently uh, 5.20 in the morning. <laughs> I've tried to stay optimistic. My friend is there sleeping. But it's just so hard, man. Not having a place to stay. You know, I feel bad for the people that have to live this day in and day out. Right, so it's 10 a.m. <laughs> as you can see, I am not in the best form. I'm trying to keep a smiley face as much as I can, but as we know, it's... Uh, it's not great, uh, 10 a.m. Stayed up all night. We're at a different park right now. I'm still trying to get a place, at least for today, so we can get a shower and everything before we have to fly back home. Yeah, we spent the night in the park. We didn't get robbed and we didn't die. Now, we went for some breakfast at a friend's house where we would end up crashing for an hour in the sofa, getting ready for my tattoo. We are right outside the place, right this second, where I'm gonna get a tattoo. Oh, wait, didn't I tell you before about the tattoo? Well, back in London, Maurizio called an old friend who's a tattoo artist, and quite a well-known one as well. It's Flocky. That's your nom de plume. Yeah. Your real name's Simon, is that right? Yeah, that's my real name. That's your real but name. But my artistic name, yeah, is Flocky. Okay. And he agreed to do a random tattoo for free. The way we would know what tattoo to make would be by picking the first three words I put in my finger in a dictionary. 
and the three words in the dictionary were to have something on, ketchup, and dartboard. <laughs> well, this is what Floki came up with. Like the, the dart. <laughs> doesn't make sense. It doesn't all, make sense, but, but it's funny. <laughs> dartboard. I think it's actually a pretty smart idea. No one is gonna understand unless they watch the video. But I mean, it's definitely. I mean, the idea. So I think that's. I think, I think that's the one. Works. Yeah, I think that's the one. It works perfectly. Floki made an amazing design and completely surpassed my expectations. So go give him a follow on Instagram and make sure if that you're ever in Italy, you hit him up for a tattoo. But now the only problem we had was that my flight back to London was in a few hours and I had to go so he couldn't completely finish the tattoo. I have finished the session. We couldn't finish 100% because we had to go right this second. I have a flight, so the video might not be over yet because if I lose the flight, then it's gonna be absolutely shit. We are literally, no joke, running to the airport right now. My flight leaves in like two hours and I have to go at this moment. We have to run. Hey guys, let's go to the airport right Time now. Time to fly to Gatwick. <laughs> yes, I probably won't make it. <laughs> Time to run to Gatwick. Oh my god. Mauri. So I was on the, Mauri. Just on time. It's 8.3. The flight leaves, well, the train leaves 8 with 5. Mate, two minutes. Finally made it to the airport <laughs> by the skin of my teeth. It is now 9 p.m. I think we finally made it. I think our journey has been complete. <laughs> this has been such an experience, but I'm just so happy it's finally over, to be honest with you. Please keep your seatbelt up and this is Okay, so now we're in London and as you know, that's how the video turned out. It was a great experiment. I mean, we did get a place for free in Vienna. We slept on the street in Milan, which wasn't great. And I think what I wanted to show you in this video was that it doesn't matter your situation, you can be 21, no money and no job, and you can still have some fun. And if you have a certain skill set that you can offer someone in exchange for accommodation or food or whatever, why not try it? I mean, at the end of the day, the worst thing you can get is a no. Check out part one if you haven't seen it, it will be around here somewhere. Also in the link in the description, shout out to my man Floki for the tattoo, which by the way, Turned out great. That's the tattoo right now. My skin is kind of falling off, but that's the tattoo. If you like these two part series, make sure you like and subscribe. And also my friend Ilusorio who made a track for this video. And yeah, thank you very much guys. See ya. Peace.